Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lauren and I am a part-time online reseller. I sell all sorts of things on the internet for a profit and I show you guys how to do the same thing. So today we have a exciting video, or at least I think it's exciting. I have shoes to share with you. I have a shoe haul. I have found so many, so many good shoes lately. I'm just kind of in shock because I felt like for the longest time I just was not finding shoes to resell at all. Um, and I have gotten a lot more selective and picky about the types of shoes that I'm picking up. Um, there's a couple oopsies in here and I'll talk about that in a second, but um, for the most part everything is, you know, within that criteria of brand, style, and condition. And yeah, so let's just get right into it. This first pair of shoes I have to share with you is a brand that never fails me. It's a great brand. Um, they retail for a pretty penny and people love this brand. It does kind of have a call following to it and that is Sorel. So Sorel is, here's a little logo right here. Sorel is mostly known for their winter or, um, you know, rain, snow boots, all weather type of boots and stuff like that. But they do make some other shoes. So these are a little loafers, like a casual loafer, super cute. The only thing I had to do to these is I just conditioned them just a little bit with the Dr. Martin Wonder Balsam. If you don't know what that product is, I will leave a link down below. I'll post a picture right here of what I'm talking about. It's a great product. It's not very expensive and it just works wonders on all types of leather. It's a great product if you've never used it before. I swear by it. I use it all the time. The next pair I want to share with you is not a brand that I typically pick up. I picked it up based on the quality of the product and the style. I present to you these amazing fringe suede ankle boots. Like, look at this detail. These are so cute. I wish that these were in my size. They're an eight and a half, just for reference, suede, uh, stacked heel that does have some wear, but that honestly doesn't really bother me that much. This just kind of happens just no matter what. Um, and these are just Kenneth Cole reaction. So not like anything crazy high-end retail, um, but the quality is there and the style is super cute. So these should perform pretty well. Next up we have Madewell. So they are these cute little block heel sandal things. <laughs> I don't really know the name for these. I really don't pick up heels like ever. Um, the only type of heel I'll pick up is something like this because this is a lot more modern and wearable and in style. Um, so here's the brand Madewell. Love Madewell personally. Um, Madewell is a brand that I've said multiple times that I am very selective and careful with. Um, I don't think that I'm going to get a huge return on these, but I didn't pay very much for them, so that's okay. And we are coming up on the season where these are going to be appropriate. They are a nine and a half, and they are essentially brand new. I mean, maybe, okay, no, maybe not brand new, but somebody maybe wore them once, if that. I have a second pair of Madewell shoes to share with you guys. These guys are super cute. Um, I love this style. So they are these cute little Madewell loafers, slides, not loafers, slides, <laughs> mules, whatever you want to call these. They are so cute. Suede with this little bow detail. They are also a nine and a half. So thank you to whoever had a nine and a half foot who decided to donate these beautiful Maywell shoes. Um, yeah, so great size, good style, um, you know, won't resell for a ton, but uh, yeah, excited to find those. The next pair is totally appropriate for work at home, being at home, all the things at home, and that is these amazing UGG slippers. So cute. Um, these were trending for a hot minute, and I think that they still are, and they probably will be for a while. Um, they're this lavender shearling type of material. Um, you could wear them outside. So like if you needed to let your dog out or get the mail or something, these would be totally appropriate for that. And my absolute favorite reason for picking these up is that they are size 11. So amazing size, amazing style all the things. Um, Ugg also has a style number. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on camera, but it's right in here inside the tag and it makes it also very easy to find the style name of this particular item, which again just really makes your job much easier in the reselling world. The next brand is a little bit of an experiment for me. I've been finding this brand's shoes quite a bit lately and these were cheap enough for me to be able to kind of pounce on them and try them out. I just thought that the style was nice. 
um, a nice casual style. Um, it's a brand that I have experienced selling, but I haven't sold the shoes, and that is Logo. So Logo stands for Lori Goldstein. This is a QVC brand. These are a pair of leather um, slip-on sneakers, shoes, whatever you want to call these. Um, I just thought that they were really cute. I like the style, I like the color blocking, and um, I definitely think that these should do okay. I only paid a few dollars for them, so I'm willing to take a risk on that. This next pair is an oops. Um, they'll still resell um, and I'll still make a profit on them, but um, I found them in a store that does not have the best lighting and they looked like they were in much better condition than I thought that they were, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go with it. Um, and yeah, let, I'll get these sold. So super cute style. They're suede, pointed toe, little teeny heel. Um, studded so you could probably see sorry there's a dog here right there <laughs> um, the suede is pretty worn and how I miss that I guys I don't know like I said the lighting was horrible but um, if you can see it in there these are free people um, you know free people shoes I've said this before I'm kind of like indifferent about them I'm not really sure how I feel about them um, I love the styles of them and sometimes they do great sometimes they take forever to sell so um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how these guys do. I honestly have no idea. I've got another pair of Ugg shoes to share with you, and they are just these cute casual slip-ons. So I love that I'm finding a lot of these casual styles. Um, those styles are doing it very well for me right now. So yeah, love finding stuff like this. Um, the thrift store did not know what they were because this is not a typical Ugg style. So pro tip, um, keep your eye out for, um, Ugg styles that are not the the typical obvious Ugg boot that everybody and their mother knows what it is um, because these shoes tend to actually perform quite well and um, they get missed a lot. So Ugg, you can see it kind of a little bit on the inside up here. Um, and again, it's got the style number and everything. Well, right here, it's right up here. So it doesn't have a little hangy tag, but um, I just thought that these are great. Just a really nice, basic, casual shoe. These I was actually quite shocked to find. Um, not that I was shocked to find them, I guess I should say. I was shocked that they were um, out on the regular floor and not behind the counter and that somebody just missed them entirely. Um, but I can kind of see why they did. Um, it's not super obvious unless you really were looking um, and paying attention. But so I found these tall boots, which um, I've talked about this many times before, but I don't normally pick up tall boots, but there are some exceptions. And this is definitely an exception. Um, these are Fry, which is one of my all time favorite brands to find. These retail for a ton. Um, these were probably like 300 ish dollar boots. Um, and they're this really cool, um, I have them stuffed so I can kind of show you guys the full effect. <laughs> but they are this like really cool like canvas material so they'll be really easy to ship because I can gently fold these down um, and ship them that way instead of finding a long tall box which is like my pet peeve of selling and shipping taller boots um, but they're honestly in pretty good condition they do have some you know marks and stuff on the front but I did take some Wonder Balsam again and kind of uh, fix them up as best as I could um, and they are a size seven. I believe that these are called the Melissa, Melissa something, Melissa buckle, Melissa button, Melissa, I don't know. So leather sole shoes just get worn pretty quickly on the bottom and it doesn't necessarily mean that they're worn out or in bad condition. It's just the way it is. So just pro tip, keep that in mind. Um, so yeah. I definitely think that those will do quite well. Next pair is a brand that I absolutely love finding and especially when we are upcoming on the season that's appropriate for them and that is none other than Chacos. Um, Chacos are amazing you guys. They hold their value quite well. They resell pretty quickly. They are a nine women's so a little pro tip here if you're looking for the size it is always on the back and it will say M or W for women's or men's. So yeah. Um, and these are a very popular style, great, beautiful color. They've got the little toe strap. I think these are called the Z2 or something like that, um, but in pretty good condition, just a little bit of discoloration on the bottom. 
nothing major. Uh, these already have quite a bit of interest in my store closet, um, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, because I'm on eBay and Poshmark. Um, but just as a little quick disclaimer here, everything that I am talking about today or showing with you guys today will be listed in my Poshmark closet and eBay store. Link down below whatever platform you prefer to shop on. Um, so if you have any questions or you are looking for those particular items, they will be listed already. Um, if they are not listed, that means that they have already sold. So anyway, yeah, Chacos, love them. Next pair is Jeffrey Campbell. Love Jeffrey Campbell. This is a very understated pair of <laughs> Jeffrey Campbell shoes, but they're practical. They are rain boots, they're waterproof. Um, so you can see a little logo in there a little bit, Jeffrey Campbell. Um, they are a size nine, great size. The only issue with them is that both of them have a little bit of heel drag on the bottom, nothing major. Um, I believe that this particular style made it to Nordstrom Rack. So I think that you can still buy them on site for like about 50 bucks. So I'm hoping for that 25 to $30 range for these guys. Still great resale value for what I paid for them. So happy with those. The next pair I believe will do much better on Posh than they will on eBay just because I'm selling them mostly based on style. Um, they were only like two or three bucks. I think that they were like two dollars and fifty cents when I picked them up. So I'm willing to take the gamble but look at the style. Okay. Amazing perforated loafer espadrille <laughs> platform. So many things going for it. Um, so this is just Franco Sardo. And they're called the Elliot and they're a size six, so smaller size, but I just thought the style was so cute for spring and summer. Like these should do pretty well. Um, they're not going to resell for a ton of money, but somebody definitely wants these. The next brand that I am going to share with you guys, or next pair of shoes I'm going to share with you guys is a brand that never fails me, always performs well, has a high resale value and kind of a little bit of a cult following to it, I'd say. And that is Vionic. So Vionic makes shoes, um, comfort shoes that are more trendy and look less like, you know, traditional like orthopedic or, you know, comfort shoe brands might look. Um, and so these are definitely just like that. These are just like a slide little, um, what do you want to call these? Sneaker slip on. Um, really cute style, great and casual. The only wear on them is there's a little bit of discoloration here but honestly somebody wore these maybe once or twice they're great style they're a size 10 and um these are called the dakota metallic these should do very well um i was really excited to find these guys i've got yet another pair of uggs to share with you guys that aren't traditional uggs and they are this really cute little um ankle boot i think these are called the aro or arrow or something like that but amazing very 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 good condition gently used um, again the style tag is on the inside here these perform extremely well I was very excited to find these and again they were missed because it's not an obvious UGG style so keep your eye out for these styles you guys they do super well this next pair is obviously the star of the show and probably part of the reason you clicked on this video. <laughs> when I found these guys, I literally had to keep myself from screaming in the store. I was so excited. Um, they were tucked on a bottom shelf and um, they looked interesting to me. So I picked them up and when I picked them up, they had some serious weight to them. So I knew that they were going to be something good and I knew that they were going to be a diamond in the rough because of their appearance. So. Appearances can be deceiving you guys, especially with shoes. Um, so check the shoes if you are, you know, when you're grabbing and touching, check for quality because otherwise just looking at them, I would have not thought that they were anything special, but that is these beautiful shoes. So you guys, these are made to look distressed, but also they're made to um, have you wear them and get more distressed as you wear them. That's part of the look of these stunning, beautiful. Yes, these are the amazing bed stew. These boots, I believe, are handmade. Um, extremely amazing quality. Um, I couldn't believe that I found these and this was on a half off day. So I only paid, I think, $4.25 for these shoes, which is cray cray, you guys. Like, and you know everybody passed these by because on a bottom shelf especially these look like some old worn out boots like who would want those but no that is the style of these and they're amazing um so these i believe are called the judgment boot 
which makes me think of Terminator. <laughs> Judgment Day. Anyway. <laughs> um, but they're a six and a half. Amazing, you guys. The quality of these, I just can't even. Anybody with a six and a half foot looking for a bed stew judgment, I got it for you. Um, these will resell extremely well, definitely over a hundred dollars. I'm assuming or believe that they will. Um, this is a pretty unique color, it's kind of like this smoky bluish gray and I don't see any others listed like this there's not many listed of bed stew in general just because it's not a brand that you're going to come across that often it's been on my bolo list for um oh let's see how long now it's been on my bolo list for a couple of years now so I just found it for the first time and I love it I'm so excited um and I can't wait to find these babies a new home with somebody who will love them I've got a second oops to share with you guys. Um, so another pair of Madewell shoes, um, nothing wrong with the style at all. These actually retail for like $230, which is a little insane, I think. Um, but anyway, I mean, Madewell makes some good shoes. They're good quality, I will say that, but that's too much, no. Um, I'd rather buy a pair of bed stew, honestly, to tell you the truth for that price. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, you know, they're a little bit worn here, but like I said, that really doesn't deter me that much because to me, it really honestly doesn't, hasn't, um, impacted resale value too, too much. Um, but I didn't notice this because I didn't undo this little buckle, but you might be able to see it here, but this little strap is, and it's on both shoes is separated. So this is something that you can totally fix with shoe glue, but I'm not going to do that because that is just going to take more time than I'm willing to put into them to still make profit on them. But um, that was a little bit of a bummer to find that. Um, and also, they are a size seven. The next pair is a great pair for the upcoming spring summer season. Um, I do have some ankle boots, obviously, that I've been sharing with you guys. Um, and I'm trying to back off on purchasing those just because we are going to be moving into another season. I definitely notice a change in what is selling for me right now. I'm selling a lot more spring and summer oriented items because of course we're going into that season. So I'm trying to keep that in mind when I am purchasing my items. However, um, the, one of the big benefits of being an online reseller is that I online knows no season, you guys. So I sell things year round. Um, I sell winter coats in the heat of the summer and I sell shorts in the dead of winter. So, um, but I do try to, of course, just keep everything in mind and just really only be picking up what is going to be selling the quickest and fastest with the most return. Um, but anyway, after I go on with that long little speech, I have these cute little Tory Burch little slides. So cute. Love these. I forget the style name of these, but, um, they're just like a little, there's a slide. This top is leather. The only issue is if that is that this one is a little more creased than the other, but honestly, these are probably just tried on or maybe worn around the house. Like they're in excellent shape. Just a little like mark like up here. The only downside of these, which I was hemming and hawing about these because of this, but they are a tiny size, you guys. They're a size five, so they're very small. Um, but when the more higher end you go with shoes and or just higher end with clothing and things like that, the small sizes tend to move just as fast as the you know larger sizes in my personal experience. So um, that's why I just went ahead and ended up grabbing them. I've got one more pair to share with you guys, and that is something that I am actually considering keeping for myself, but I do have them listed, and if they don't sell, um, and if they don't sell for the price I want them to sell for, I'll probably keep them. And that is these bad boys. So these are actually Dansko. Um, I love Dansko. I really do. Um, I like the more modern styles though, and so do lots of other people. There's really not very much wear to them at all. Just, you know, normal, like, you know, wear on the suede, um, and the outsole is in excellent shape. If you've never owned a pair of dance coats, they look great for a very, very long time. Um, the insole has very little wear to them. Um, so yeah, I have these, I think listed around $70 and I'm really hoping to get around that for them. Otherwise I will just keep them for myself. So <laughs> I won't be sad if they <laughs> don't sell. Um, but 
yeah if they do that's okay too um they are a size 40 which is like a nine and a half ten but i would say that these are definitely more like a nine and a half that's all i have for you guys today thank you so much for joining me today on this video watching my haul and supporting my channel it really means a lot to me so don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like reseller content um leave a comment down below let me know what your favorite pair was Mine is, of course, the Bed Stew, but I love those dance goes because personally, that is something that I would have bought for myself. Um, but yeah, let me know down below what your favorite style was. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.